The underdog journey of South Sudan's basketball team to Paris has sparked inspiration across the nation and the African continent, fostering hopes that the bright stars will illuminate a path for the next generation. A resounding cheer erupted as South Sudan surged ahead for the first time against Great Britain just before halftime. Spectators in black and white t-shirts leapt to their feet, waving flags and dancing in the stands of the Copper Box Arena in London. Last Thursday's match was one of the final warm-up games before South Sudan embarks on their quest for Olympic gold in Paris on Sunday. Ranked 33rd in the world, South Sudan is one of two African nations to qualify for basketball at the Olympic Games, alongside Nigeria in the women's competition. This is a remarkable feat for the world's youngest country, which gained independence in 2011 after years of civil war and continues to struggle with conflict, hunger, and poverty. Suntina Deng, 63, traveled from Birmingham to watch the match. Having come to the UK in 1985 due to the civil war in Sudan, she is thrilled to see South Sudan heading to the Olympics. It is morale boosting. The country is still going through difficulties, and this is bringing us together, she says. The Bright Stars, established in 2011, began their ascent on the world stage in 2019 when former NBL star Luol Deng who represented Great Britain in the 2012 Olympics, became president of the South Sudan Basketball Federation. Deng, who fled Sudan with his family in 1990 at age 5, grew up in Egypt and London before pursuing a basketball career in the US. He played a key role in assembling the team, persuading players and head coach Royal Ivy, an American former NBA player, to join. South Sudan boasts some of the tallest people globally, a significant advantage in basketball but lacks resources, including indoor basketball courts. The team consists of players who left the country as children or were born as refugees. One notable player, 17-year-old Kamen Maluik, who stands at 2.18 meters 7 feet 2 inches, attended a basketball camp run by Deng in Uganda at age 13. In April 2021, he earned a full scholarship to the NBA Academy Africa in Senegal and will attend Duke University in the U.S. in the fall, where he is tipped to become a major star. The first time I went back home after a tournament and saw many people in one place enjoying what we were doing was really inspiring, says Maluik. It kept me working hard to make my people proud back home. Deng adds, for all of us, it's a journey that's bigger than basketball. As a young kid in the NBA, I knew that many young South Sudanese kids and refugees around the world were following my story. Now, it's even more incredible doing it as a group. What we're accomplishing for the continent of Africa is huge. Sports can elevate and motivate a whole nation. The team's path to Olympic qualification was challenging. In 2020, players tested positive for COVID-19 before an African qualifying tournament, forcing them to withdraw. They were granted a spot in another tournament when Algeria pulled out and made it to the World Cup, where they beat 11-time African champions Angola, becoming the lowest-ranked team to qualify for the Olympics since 2004. The reaction has been amazing, says Deng. Not just in the country, but across the continent, our diaspora and refugees are motivated by seeing this positive direction. In London, Great Britain, who did not qualify for Paris, made a comeback but South Sudan defended Great Britain's final attack to win 84-81. Chris Grant, chair of the British Basketball Federation, praised South Sudan's trajectory as astonishing and transformative for African basketball. Emerging nations and their developing infrastructure around the sport, along with changes in governance and involvement, are beneficial for world basketball. Reflecting the diversity on the court, he says. A few days later, South Sudan faced the reigning Olympic champions, the U.S., who narrowly avoided an upset with a 101-100 victory after fighting back from a 16-point deficit. The teams will meet again in the Olympic group stages on Wednesday. South Sudanese player Winyan Gabriel, formerly of the Los Angeles Lakers, remarked, A lot of people around the world don't know what South Sudan is. We're a bunch of refugees that came together for a few weeks trying our best against some of the best players ever. Hoops in Africa is something for the future. It's only a matter of time before the next generation gets built up.